Welcome to Strange Historical Tales. Today we uncover the chilling mystery of the Lady of the Dunes. This story begins on July 26, 1974, in the serene coastal town of Provincetown, Massachusetts. Amidst the picturesque sand dunes of Race Point Beach, a young girl stumbled upon a gruesome sight that would baffle authorities and intrigue the public for decades, a decaying body of an unidentified woman. The discovery was both shocking and puzzling. The body lying face down on a green beach towel was severely decomposed, and the victim's hands were missing, likely to prevent identification through fingerprints. Her head was nearly decapitated, and further investigation showed she had significant dental work, suggesting that she might be from a well-off background. The initial investigation into the Lady of the Dunes case was intense, but ultimately led to more questions than answers. The police and FBI worked tirelessly, using forensic techniques available at the time. However, the lack of fingerprints and the advanced decomposition of the body made identification extremely difficult. Over the years, the body was exhumed multiple times, in 1980, 2000, and 2013, each time with hopes of uncovering new clues that could lead to her identity. Several theories emerged regarding her identity and the circumstances of her death. One theory suggested she might have been a victim of organized crime, given the brutality of her injuries. Another theory linked her to the infamous serial killer, Haddon Clark, who had claimed to have murdered a woman fitting her description in the area. In a particularly intriguing lead from 2015, author Joe Hill, the son of Stephen King, noticed a background character in the 1975 film Jaws that bore a striking resemblance to the forensic sketches of the Lady of the Dunes. The woman in the film was wearing similar clothes to those found on the victim, sparking a fresh wave of speculation and investigation. This lead, while fascinating, did not yield concrete results, and the identity of the Lady of the Dunes remained a mystery. Throughout the years, forensic scientists continued to utilize advancements in technology to try and solve the case. DNA profiling and investigative genealogy played crucial roles in modern investigations. In 2022, these efforts finally paid off when the Lady of the Dunes was identified as Ruth Marie Terry. This breakthrough came after nearly five decades of mystery and speculation. The revelation of Ruth Marie Terry's identity opened a new chapter in the investigation. Ruth, originally from Tennessee, had moved around quite a bit, which had initially made it difficult for investigators to pinpoint her exact whereabouts and social connections. Investigators traced her steps through various states and pieced together a timeline leading up to her disappearance. The method used to identify Ruth involved extracting DNA from her remains and comparing it to genealogical databases. This technique, known as investigative genealogy, has revolutionized the field of forensic science. By finding distant relatives and building a family tree, scientists were able to narrow down the list of possible identities. Eventually, they identified Ruth through a match with her living relatives. The case took a significant turn when Ruth Marie Terry's killer was identified as her then-husband, Guy Rockwell Moldovan. Known for his violent past, Moldovan was implicated in the disappearances and murders of other women, making him a prime suspect in Terry's murder. His history of violence and deception finally caught up with him, providing some closure to a case that had perplexed investigators and captivated the public for years. Moldovan ultimately succumbed to a long-term illness in 2002, passing away before the body was identified. Guy Rockwell Moldovan had a long history of criminal behavior. He had been married multiple times with several of his wives and acquaintances mysteriously disappearing. These connections and his violent tendencies made him an obvious suspect once Ruth's identity was confirmed. The identification of Ruth Marie Terry and the subsequent revelation of her killer marked a monumental achievement in forensic science and the relentless pursuit of justice. Her story, from the eerie dunes of Provincetown to the modern laboratories that finally uncovered her identity, serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of perseverance in solving cold cases. The resolution of this case also highlights the crucial role that advancements in forensic science play in modern investigations. 
Techniques like DNA profiling and investigative genealogy have not only solved the mystery of the Lady of the Dunes, but also provided closure for many other cold cases around the world. What do you think about the resolution of this case? Share your thoughts and join us in remembering Ruth Marie Terry and the tireless efforts that finally brought justice to her story. If you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and join us next time for more strange historical tales.